So I'm officially 33 weeks and five days. <sighs> I'm feeling really anxious. I started having low back pain and kind of like these like menstrual cramps in the front. Starting yesterday, my contractions come here and there. Our baby's all right here on this left side. I know it's so crazy. I've only been feeling any movement my entire pregnancy. Just the <laughs> linea nigra is like the divider. He's all right here. And then there ain't nothing going on over here. <laughs> so I'm about to head out to my doctor's appointment. This is like my 34 week checkup. I hit 34 weeks this Friday, which is huge. We never, ever, ever thought we we're gonna get this far. I'm so grateful. But man, my my lower back is pounding, dude. We will see what happens. I hope that I get to come home and the cervix is still strong. So I'm at the hospital <laughs> during my appointment. Um, I was telling her all my symptoms and my doctor was like, okay, let me just feel your cervix. And she was like, okay, he's really low. I feel his head. And I think you're like one centimeter dilated. So I'm at the hospital yeah. February 17th. What time is it? I'm gonna get in the gown. This is my last outfit. Pregnant. I am not a hairstylist. <laughs> So I am officially just hanging out in the hospital, kind of like hospital bed rest until I um, hit 34 weeks, at least on Friday. We're gonna do two rounds of the beta methasone, the steroid shot to help baby's lungs progress. So I'm just gonna hang tight here. The room is like hella nice. I'm so grateful. Oh, oh you brought all the things. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. They got a cot here for Jeremy so we could sleep side by side. A work desk here and then I'm gonna go ahead and change into some clothes, but that's what I look like right now. Ooh, fancy bathroom. We got a TV with Apple TV set up. It's like a little vacation, babe. Girl, it is 11 o'clock. I'm hungry. This baby needs to get as big as possible before it comes out. And, uh, he told me this evening he wanted a crunchy taco supreme, so we're gonna give him what he wants. Okay, so it is. Is the clock just going crazy? Is it? Am I psychotic right now? No, the clock is going crazy. What? Am I? Am I freaking? <laughs> I'm like. Why is that happening? Oh my god! I'm like freaked out right now. Oh my god. Be gone, Satan. Be gone. What the? F I, am, I, am I on drugs? No, that's happening. I looked at the clock and I said, it is 5 o'clock and I go, oh, what? Oh, no, wait, it's 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. 5, 5, 10. Oh, no, it's 6. 6 15. What is happening? I don't know. What yeah, is happening? Do we need some sage or something? Girl. Oh, Has that ever happened? Um, I can't say that. <laughs> I took the battery out. What? <laughs> the battery is <laughs> out? <laughs> <laughs> that is really weird. Yeah, can you call a priest? <laughs> yeah. Whatever she put in here hurts so bad in my IV. An arm is in so much pain. Oh, God. Morning. We made it through the night. My water broke at 3.20. I honestly have not gotten any sleep since then. We what have we got? a scramble for me, American breakfast for you, and a pancake <gasps> flight, and oatmeal.
Tonight, I'm gonna get the betamethasone shot. Second round of steroids, so that should really complete the whole set and get his lungs in really good order. And then ideally, we're gonna wait another 24 hours so that like everything sinks in. And this is tricky, cause like, I don't know if I'm gonna be like naturally going to labor or not. Um, but if not, and I'm not progressing, then they're gonna go ahead and induce me Saturday morning or Friday night. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a baby in just 72 hours. So we just finished our NICU tour and consultation. It was so great to just speak to a specialist and be able to see all the facilities in person. And it's like located right here, like down the hallway. It's all really, really good. So right now we're gonna have some late lunch. Look at our spread, okay? We got homemade rolls to make your own sliders with this fresh, delicious hot chicken. We got chimichurri sauce. We got mum's gravy with mashed potatoes, arachetti, mac and cheese, lamingtons. Um, and then a salad. I have my next round of antibiotics. I'm just getting pumped full of antibiotics. And I'm so weak. And who's ready to eat? We both are. <laughs> <laughs> A little before 4 a.m. at 3.30, I think I had another like big expulsion of amniotic fluid. And then all of a sudden my stomach got really, really hard. And I was like, oh my God, is this like a contraction? Am I going into labor? Right now we're just monitoring the baby. I just want to stay calm and chill. Don't enter any labor phase until tomorrow. No, tonight. Sorry. Oh my God, it's th we're 34 weeks. That's right. We're officially 34 weeks, sorry. I'm so happy we made it here. Ah, oh, my favorite. Then we have some, oh my God, French toast. And then I have a zucchini and bacon omelet with hash browns and oatmeal with fresh fruit. We're gonna have an intense, incredible experience together. I'm just gonna be calm and focused on you. And I cannot wait to see you and hear you. Your daddy is so excited. So it looks like I'm gonna be taking the Cytotec at 10 o'clock tonight. She's gonna let me eat so I can get just a little nourishment and then we'll see. I'm so sensitive to medication, so I'm just like so curious on like how fast I'm gonna blast into labor. Labor, beauty, essentials right here on deck next to the bed. I've got things like my mints, a little bit of face cream, hand cream, sanitizer. I got like my peppermint wand for getting nauseous. I got this pain release one. If my eyes get dry, I've got my eye drops. I've got an inhaler for my stuffy ass nose. Chapstick, two hair claws. We're gonna double up that bun tonight. Some fresh rose water, tissues for crying, and then these cucumber citrus face and body wipes. Okay, okay for way. The lighting gun. just hooked her up to the Pitocin and she got her first dose about 15 minutes ago, 7.15. Waiting on breakfast. When I relax, my baby relaxes. Listen to your body and move as you need. Observe your thoughts as they come and go and let it lead you back to being present in this space. 
In 23, and Eric has been on Pitocin for about a little over two hours. Baby's heart rate. And these are Erica's contractions. Yeah, see? She did the hard part, my friend. Good job. So you're about three centimeters now, my friend. And this <laughs> might make things kind of accelerate. Okay. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. oh my God, it just can't Pretty stop. Wild. I trust in the process and pace of I get good toe, but I could get to a finger right and the injection. Here we go, do the stick. Big stick. This is the worst part of this. This morning, I was doing really good. And then they were like, you know, something's like kind of off. So they took that crochet hook and they like went into puncture with the, that was excess amniotic sac. And it was like an ocean gushing. All of a sudden my body finally like went into overdrive and like labor was starting to kick in. So I immediately was like epidural. But yeah, I finally felt the contractions, like real contractions and oh my God. They kind of got her with her peanut ball over here. Yeah, um, the peanut ball feels great. And she's relaxed enough to where she can sleep. The doctor came in to check me and I am like seven centimeters dilated. They said I had a lot of blood, so even though it's scary to look at, it's like signs that the cervix has been working and it's protective, so. I can't believe it. I'm 10 centimeters dilated. That was fast. There was like a little bit of a lip because my cervixes are all weird and I pushed it and then I think I, I broke it open. There's a lady right behind me and we're like exactly the same progression. So they're trying to split up all the nurses and everything. And as you start pushing, the baby will descend lower and lower and then you deliver this baby and we're going to meet our son this afternoon. Like that nine, ten. Good job. Good job. So those ones, one, two, three. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Five, six. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Another one's coming. So it's gonna do that kind of straight back one. Okay. Yeah. Deep breath. And bear down. Push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. During the potosa. Basically, once you're actively changing your cervix. That's when it, that's when it, yeah. yeah. Some people could come in for a labor check and be one centimeter. Okay. There's going to be black hair. Ready? And push. Push. Go. go. See that head? Go. Right there? Go. That's a head. Go. That's her go, 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 go,
There's so much pressure. I know. So much pressure. I know. Coming out. He's coming out. He's on his way out. All right, one more big push Ready? for his shoulder. You got it. <gasps> okay, oh, so you open your okay, eyes. Okay, so. baby. Oh. 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 He's here. He's so oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh cry baby. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, sweetie. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Oh my god. Oh, 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 hi, sweet, sweet man. Hi, sweetie. Oh, my God. Can I get another dry blanket, guys? It's a minute. Should we set him free, guys? Oh, my God. Oh. Let's get to Are his belly button. Uh, you oh. are so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, All sweet right, baby Jeremy, boy. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Jenny. Right there? Yeah. Oh, I'm closer to the clamp. Right there? Right there? Yeah. And then once he's all oh, so in, we'll bring him back. Hi, baby oh, boy. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Move that pillow, Jeremy. Move that pillow. And then... <laughs> okay, what about that kit? Oh, got it. Let me you grab guys. it. Jeremy, I'm going to... Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, I'll see you soon, okay? Oh, that's important thing. Oh, yes. Oh, this sweet baby. Sweet bundle. Yeah, Mama. I look great. I'm doing awesome. I'm breathing all on my own. Got all my fingers, all my toes. Okay, yes. But he's breathing all on his own. He looks great. Oh, wonderful. He's not needing any oxygen at this point, so we're going to take him over to the nursery. Okay. Get him settled in, get him weighed, and get him measured. Yeah. This is so Thank you. 